I'm giving all praise unto Abashim Asha, Abashim Okwa, Kodash, the bonus unto the apostles of Great Millstone, and honestly, brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity. It's going to be a really quick video, and just like how the scripture says there was going to be a great famine within the within the end times, we're seeing the the circumstances play out within the earth uh, for that. So I'm going to go straight into it. It says the war in the Ukraine is sending fertilizer prices uh, through the roof. Uh, that could spark a food shortages in countries already struggling with widespread hunger. So, you know, brothers did videos already, but this is this is this is this is happening, man. This is what's happening, man. So, what 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 is a major component within the fertilizer industry is, I believe, it's ammonia. Um, correct me on if I'm wrong, but pretty much, um, one of the byproducts of gas 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 uh, production that you you know, which you had all kind of gas coming from Russia and that keeping the prices real low is a, 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 a chemical that they use in the production of fertilizer. So now you've got a situation, a perfect storm, if you will, for food prices and food availability to just be, to just, to just go through the roof, man. Okay. Sure enough, we're living in, in, in some very great times now and you're seeing how the most is getting this thing ready to pop off, man. Okay. It says here, the, the, the war in the UK has lifted uh, fertilizer prices, leading to concern over global food shortages. Meaning, you know, either you, like I mentioned a second ago, you're going to have a lack of availability to food or you're going to have a situation where uh, the prices that you have is going to be too high. I mean, we've done videos on this already. Okay. Um, let's go to another article. Like I said, you no, know, we've already done videos on this. Um, but as the news comes in, you know, I... Um, I just put it in the background and do a video on it at a later stage. Um, supply chain crisis. The three Fs. Why UK farmers fear the soaring cost of fertilizer, feed and fuel. All right. Now, this is a beautiful article because it goes not only into the fertilizer thing, but it also goes into the three um, proponents that's going to drive up food shortages and food, food inflation. Uh, the price of key commodities have surged because of, uh, of the vid and uh, Brexit. And this is in the UK, right? And now war with the Ukraine. A tall fiberglass tank is under lock and key on Matt Colley's arable farm in Hampshire. No wonder the fertilizer contained inside has become an increasingly precious commodity. <laughs> All right. So this is what's happening out here, man. This is what's happening out here. Okay. You got thieves out here breaking in. All right. You got um, a, a situation where, you know, the farmers, they had a, a model, a business model, so to speak to have it to where things could play out in a way that's going to be financially viable and for a lot of these farmers it's not financially viable anymore that's why they're selling off to big to, to the big corporations the cost of synthetic farm uh, fertilizer necessarily necessary for growing crop many crops and grass has become has begun to climb last autumn when prices of gas required to produce it uh began to rise steeply now what you got to ask yourself is hold on a minute before you had this so-called war with ukraine gas prices are already going up man okay Fuel, fuel shortages was already going up. You got to ask yourself, hold on a minute, is this all set up? All right? Is this all? Is this all by coincidence that like everything is just hitting, you know, hitting home all at the same time? And the answer is no. See, Esau operates through a thing called a uh, uh, order through chaos, and through that chaos that they're they're unleashing upon this place, they're gonna try to set up their new world order. Okay. Um. So it says, uh, Corley was able to buy enough fertilizer to fill. This 2,000 or 25,000 25, litre vessel at current prices, it will cost him 21,000. Just a year ago, it cost him about 6,000 pounds. So 30, 30, 350 pounds, 350 percent Salakia increase, right? So what do you think is going to happen with the food? If you if the, if the components required, and that's just fertilizer. Look what they said. They said they said the three Fs, okay? Fertilizer, feed, and fuel. You got to have, a, you gotta have a, a, um, the diesel to go in the tank right, to drive the combined harvester, what do you think the prices of these all doing? They're going down? No, they're going up, man. So either these farmers are going to be priced out and then you're just not going to have any food, right? The big companies, the big corporations are going to buy them up. And in order for you to access that food, you're going to have to get the MLTB, right? You can see this is a perfect storm that the ESOS created in order for this thing to pop off, man. Um, Let's continue here. It says, what else have we got here? Okay. Now I wanted them to go in, in into fuel. 
Uh, this year, we're cutting back applications by 25% on all crops uh, within our buying group. Um, uh, fertilizer, this is the bit I want. Fertilizer is just one of the things which farmers have to buy, along with feed and fuel, all of which have soared. Not just gone up, they've soared. Fuel has gone up crazy, okay? All right, fuel has gone up crazy. And also, too, feed is going to go up because where are you going to get the feed from? All right, feed's coming from somewhere. It's got to be farmed from somewhere. If it's being farmed, then you got to, you, you know, you got all kind of equipment that you have to, you know, fuel in order for you to use them. Um, let's see this one. World is on the brink of uh, food shortage. Here's here's what the U.S. business can do to help. So that you know, I just used that article to let you know that this is a real thing that's happening out here, man. Okay, so we're in that time, man. We're in that time, but we know that the men of the Lord are going to eat. That's what we know. So. With that, I must say, all praise unto Yahweh, Shema, Shai, Bashi, Makoha, Kodash, double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone, and uh, honors you brothers, uh, double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone, and honors you brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.